Kanye train for like quite some time. And I'm not going to lie, I was kind of like, who that? And then, <laughs> and then we met him at, um, at Nationals and he was like very cool, had very beautiful, lustrous ginger hair. The dude is just in like a positive feedback loop, I think. Like he's like winning, he's working really hard, he's winning, he's working really hard, he's winning. He's from New Jersey, that's another thing that I was like, ah! I think the story of Connor Yeager is intermeshed with Michigan. It's like very intermeshed yes, yeah. with Michigan. So we went to the Charlotte Grand Prix and it was, you know, that pool is a big rectangle with low ceilings. And we were like on this corner and it was always like, what's that commotion over there? And it was like, go blue, go Michigan. blue. Like, yeah, it was Michigan. And um, so then I went to Santa Clara. I was in Santa Clara by myself. And by the way, this also, there was some swimception because an individual who shall, as of yet, Renee, you know, Renee, remain anonymous, was like, you need to pay attention to him. We were like, what? Okay, like, I guess. So um, I might have been communicating with that person. They're like, oh, go talk to him. And I was like, uh, okay. So I actually walked by and was like, I can't, I can't. I'm too nervous. And then I, like, inter I, like, basically, like, collided with him as they were, like, literally about to leave. And I just kind of was like, I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> so we were talking. And as we were talking, I was sort of like, I'm feeling drawn in by the kind of like multicolored hazel green gold quality that your irises and your eyes seem to have. And I'll say about Kanye, I was like a little slow to, to get on that just because there's like a lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there's a lot of people that we've been talking about and following for a long time and it's like can my brain and my heart really handle another they can I, I realize <laughs> that and I think I really I was into it but then I really was into it when he spoke to us at Golden Goggles and Eve asked him true or false <laughs> was it, true or false Wolverine. true or false Wolverines can kill prey up to three times larger than them and, I, and I tweeted that during uh, worlds and his response was they're savage animals and I was like okay you're cool because he could have been like what or like you know because you that's the thing is like you don't he's, know what their sense of humor is how they're gonna he, react and he just like went with he it. is so into Michigan like basically yeah. I feel like you could tweet go blue and then I'm gonna be like parentheses waits for Kanye to favorite this tweet like he just is and I, I will say and he won us over also at um, nationals yes. when he gave up his spot yeah which was like yeah, a little bit. And little also, bit. if you watch one of our other um, videos, like we're as we said, some people say the longest walk is from the side of the stage to the center of the stage. For us too, it's like from, from wherever you have to go to get to the media um, area, and that was really long in Indianapolis. So we're like looking down at the floor, like Bob Bowman's talking to Matt McLean. We're just trying to be like, and then we like it's finally like I see the light, like we're getting there, and then it's like the entire men's, Michigan, Michigan men's team are like stretching. stretching. And we're like, Hi. and we're like, oh excuse me, oh oh, is that your one? Sorry, <laughs> and I'm just like, I want to die right now it's like and also i just had this like irrational fear that i was definitely gonna slip and like crack my oh, skull over that was legit. on the side of the pool and just die there so um another thing that was that happened which was michigan related which is at winter now well preceding that while i was at santa clara by myself and granted i hope you know i think i conducted myself you know appropriately because when this one's not actually with me sometimes i'm like i can get away with stuff because she's no, she's like not having that. I'm omnipresent. I, she's omnipresent, but I did notice that there was a very, you know, like tallish, kind of, you know, blonde, attractive gentleman who I sort of felt resembled Alexander Skarsgård. So I like tweeted that. Justin, this is Justin, of uh, who's a junior. We figured out who he was, and then like our other friend, we were like joking about it a lot. So I like tweeted about him a couple times, but oh, the big thing is like his Twitter was locked. So it's like when your Twitter's locked, don't come a knocking. So we're like, oh, okay. So um, during Winter Nationals, I just was like, shout out to Justin, you know, who's I think is like really, really cute, um, even though your Twitter is locked. So a couple people were sort of picking up on that. And um, one of the things that I sort of really like about the whole Twitter thing that we've been involved in is I like it when people kind of reveal that they are like paying attention mm -hmm. to what's going on. So Kanye is like, I see you, Nathan Adri hashtag Nathan Adrian's chest, and raise you, Justin Glanda's wonderful chest. And I was like in my room, like, oh, we've just been totally like called out. And then Mike Winalda posts a photograph of the gentleman in question. 
I said, if you can get a picture of Justin and Nathan together, I said, I will give, I will make a donation to Justin's favorite charity. So Mike Wendell was like, done. And I was like, I kind of was like, this is a mean, everybody's busy, like it's probably not going to happen, but it didn't happen. However, I would just like to say Mike Winalda, when a man from Michigan, a man of Michigan, um, leaders and best and all this nonsense that we've been like brainwashed with over the last couple months, tells me he's going to do something, I expect it to happen. So do you honestly want Justin's favorite charity to go like without a very small donation? <laughs> very small. So basically, but meaningful, I'm meaningful and from the heart. I am putting it to you that you need to make this happen by the end of the year. So basically, I feel like you have three opportunities, which is probably like Santa Clara, Nationals, or Winter Nationals at the end of the year. I'm waiting.